Hey, this is Rob Cadjano from the band Volbeat. Well, we did it in Denmark. We did it in uh, a town called Reba. I'm probably not saying that correctly, but um, it's basically uh, the oldest city in, in, in Denmark. Yeah, it was, it was really cool, actually. Um, did it at Jacob Hansen's studio, and the team we had was, was basically the same team we had on the last record, you know, uh, Outlaw Gentlemen. So, yeah, it was great. I mean, we, we went in the studio in, uh, when did we start? November, I guess? Yeah. And uh, we just blazed through it, basically. Well, obviously, you know, like, like you just said, we know each other better, you know what I mean? Uh, having been in the band for a few years now. Um, there's a certain, like, instinct thing that happens, I guess, when, when you're making music, when, you know, when everyone's familiar with each other. Um, and I definitely felt that in the, rehearsal, in the rehearsal room as we were going over ideas and, and you know, hashing out these, these songs. So, yeah, it was good. No, I, you know, it's one of the coolest things about, about this band for me is, like, there's no real boundaries, you know, so that, like musical boundaries, so to speak. So it just makes it really fresh and, and interesting, you know. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I, if you're asking if there's, like, some kind of bull beat formula I don't think that exists <laughs> there's definitely you know some some uh, some stuff that kind of weaves in and out of the record you know um, but it's not you know the last album was, was leaning heavily towards like the western the western stuff and, and um, you know outlaws and cowboys and that kind of thing and this is uh, this is a whole different thing so yeah you ready seal the deal and let's boogie <laughs> no, there, there's definitely some some cool characters and, and uh, some voodoo stuff on this record, which I always found uh, fascinating. You know, me personally, yeah, absolutely. Yep, we have a t we have a tune called Marie Laveau, so that pretty much kind of says it right there. <laughs> um, that's interesting. Uh, well, I mean. First off, that's that was definitely the first song that we, we we hashed out. You know, we actually started playing. We were playing half of that song on the last tour we did, just to kind of try it out and see how it worked. And, and uh, you know, the fans seemed to really dig it. We played it once in its entirety in uh, in Denmark uh, last show we did, um, and it went over great. But you know, lyrically, it, I'm not totally sure how it fits in with the with the voodoo thing. I mean, it's about something about the son of Satan. <laughs> Are you talking about rehearsals? Um, yeah, well, I'm going. I'm going to Denmark on Sunday to do to do some rehearsing. Um, you know, it, it, to be totally honest, it doesn't really ha it doesn't really matter how much you rehearse. You know, at least for me, when you're on stage, it's completely different. So, I think most bands will tell you the same thing. It takes a, a few shows to really get into the groove. You know, that that's more powerful than any rehearsal time in the studio, you know. So there's gonna be some new stuff for sure. Yeah. That's gonna be a crazy show. <laughs> I don't even know how our drummer's drum set is gonna fit on the stage to be honest. <laughs> I was thinking about that last night. Yeah, I'm definitely excited about that festival. You know, I've never been to to a Coachella, but um, I know there's a, there are a lot of cool bands on the bill and I'm, I'm Really looking forward to it, actually. We play. I, I played that that place with uh, with Anthrax with the Big Four years ago. It was very dusty. I remember. <laughs> I was coughing dust balls for days. <laughs> yeah, we've done some some of the uh, the, the radio festivals, you know, uh, on the last run with the Venge Sevenfold, and um, yeah, I mean, it's 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 gonna be it's gonna be awesome. I think that's a really cool bill, you know. Playing with Metallica is, is amazing. Always love those guys. I'll do it. <laughs> yeah, you know, years ago when we did the, the when the Big Four thing went down, my, one of my favorite parts of the night was uh, when everyone got up on stage with Metallica. That was just an unbelievable rush. You know, that's like a, a, a dream. You know, <laughs> yeah, it was just it was a blast. I, I don't, words can't even describe it. <laughs> It definitely hit me, you know. Um, did did a bunch of touring with those guys, and, and uh, I'm really close with Phil Campbell, and you know I've had 
some amazing conversations with Lemmy over the years. Um, yeah, I mean, he was, what, what can you say? He was the real deal. There, there will never be another Lemmy. That's just the way it is, you know. That's an interesting question. Um, I really dig what Joe Bonamass is doing. He's a, he's a phenomenal guitar player. Um, one of the cool things about him is I could connect the dots, like as far as wh where his influences lie and stuff. And uh, I just like what he's doing with all that stuff. He's really, really nailing a lot of things, and, and he's got really he's got a lot of stuff to say on the, on the instrument, which I think is cool. Um, Gary Clark Jr. is amazing. He's also doing Coachella. I'm psyched to see him. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. I don't, you know, when I'm home, I don't really listen to a lot of guitar music these days. It's just completely the opposite of when I, when I was, you know, 16 or 17. <laughs> That's all I listened to. As soon as the vocal came on, I shut it off. <laughs> but, yeah, so all kinds of different stuff. Um, I'm really digging the new Editor's record, actually. It's a pretty cool record. It's dark and weird. I like it. I don't know. My, my, my musical taste, it's like all over the place, really. I do, I do a combination of both, to be honest. Um, of course, I love buying CDs and, 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 and all that stuff, but it's just becoming so hard to do that. You know, one of our favorite things when we're on the road is to go to record stores. You know, uh, Michael and John are drummer. That all three of us are basically the same. We love going to record stores. Um, but they're few and far between right now. You know, they're hard to find. There's only a few good record stores in, in this country, in, in the world, actually, <laughs> which is kind of sad. Um, so, yeah, obviously, the, it, it's shifting more towards the digital stuff. And um, one thing I do like about that is, you know, for years, I, I, would, I would buy tons and tons of records and CDs. And at the end of the tour, I'd be like, well, how the hell am I going to get all this shit home? It's like, <laughs> you know? <laughs> oh, yeah. Devour the Day, yeah, yeah. I co-wrote this song with those guys. Good guys, really good band, and uh, that was a lot of fun, you know, working with them. That that came about through a friend of mine, uh, Declan Morell, who was uh, who was at EMI Publishing. That's that's how I met him, you know, originally back then. Um, and he just kind of hooked us up. Yeah, it was cool. I just talked to those those guys uh, yesterday, actually. Yeah, we were just hashing out lyrics and trying to come up with a concept for, for this for the song, and it definitely took some, as it does when you're working on, on new stuff, it, took, it takes twists and turns. But uh, yeah, I think I think we came up with something pretty damn cool. Well, we are definitely looking forward to seeing all the fans again. I'm literally going crazy. That you know, I, I hate not being on tour. I love being on the road, so um, I'm really excited to get back out there and uh, yeah, just get the groove going. And we're proud of our new album, and uh, hopefully the fans connect with that and they dig it too. That would be amazing. Greetings, salutations, and thank you for watching this interview with Rob Caggiano of Volbeat. If you are a fan of Volbeat, give us a like or leave us a comment letting us know what you want to see more of. If you're a fan of metal, I highly recommend this interview with Jeremy Spencer from Five Finger Death Punch or this performance from Blackstone Cherry. Until next time, I'm Lou Brutus. You're not. My feet are wet today. My tears have soaked the pavement. My mind's running again. And all my hopes are fading.